All right, Mr. Teleferro TV, how's everybody doing out there? Now, Kanye West in 2018, in his mind, believes he's full of love. Now, I'm not going to refute that. He believes he's making the right moves. One of the moves is supporting Donald Trump uh, and a couple other political leaders out in, in left field, I'll say. But he believes he's making some of the right moves, and he believes he's on his love way no matter what people are saying about him. He refuses to engage in disses. As a matter of fact, the only unintentional diss was he called black people. He said pretty much slavery was a choice, which was a disrespectful comment to black people and some of our ancestors. But in his mind, he believes he's doing the right thing on this wave he's on in 2018. Now, Kanye West and Jay-Z are not on the best of terms right now. As a matter of fact, this all started when Kanye West was on that St. Pablo tour. And he pretty much said, look, I was going through it. My wife, Kim K, had just got robbed. And I wanted Jay-Z and Beyonce to come over to the crib like a family should. He felt like if Jay was his brother, the guy that put him in the game, that gave him so much game, and somebody that he had did at that time, Jay's only collab album, right? He felt like it was necessary for Jay-Z and Beyonce to come check on Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. Now, reportedly, Beyonce doesn't care for Kim K. I don't know if that put, was a part in it. But Jay-Z and Beyonce went about their ways. They never responded to Kanye West publicly. He spazzed out after the tour. We seen that he had mental health issues. Life moved on. Then we got to Jay-Z's, one of his most important albums of his career, 444. Now, in 444, I don't look at it as Jay-Z dissing Kanye West. It pretty much was Jay saying, I'm the idiot. I gave Kanye West 20 million. He gave me 20 minutes on stage. What was I thinking? Now, Ye also behind the scenes claim that Tidal and company owes him some money from exclusively putting out a project. I believe that was the Life of Pablo album that uh, Ye claims he exclusively put out for Tidal. He was supposed to get certain financial resources. Jay claims Ye owes him money. So behind the scenes, they've been having issues. But let's be honest, this breaks down to Ye feeling some type of way about Jay and Beyonce not caring for him the way he believed they should have when he claimed he was in his time of need mentally. Now, again, on 444, there were a few Ye references. I didn't look at them as shots. I looked at it as if Jay was blaming himself for allowing somebody at this point in his life to have that type of power and control over him like he did. He does believe little brother Ye did at some point. And pretty much, I took from 444 and just looking at the way Jay's on and all the things he's doing for black people and how he's getting involved in so many movements financially behind the scenes, the Trayvon Martin documentary and other documentaries out there. I looked at 444 as I'm saying, I don't need people like Kanye West in my life. I'm, I've admitted that I'm, I've cheated on my wife. I'm now living this faithful life. I've had to go on a whole tour apologizing pretty much. My mother is on a new wave in life. She admitted that she was uh, gay, which was a big step in, I believe, Jay-Z's recovery and his mom's admission of that was something big that he had wanted, wanted in his life. And I mean, there was other things. Jay's on a different wave, and we see Ye on this new wave in 2018 as well. I just looked at it as Jay saying, I'm not going to rock with you no more. I wish you the best, but I'm not going to rock with you no more. Now, fast forward. We, we got a Kanye West interview with Charlemagne in which he said, look, I love Jay. You know, that's my brother for life. Hopefully we figure this thing out. Then I think in Jay's interview with the Rap Radar podcast, salute to Elliot Wilson and B-Dot, I think he said he would, you know, one day reconcile with Kanye West. That's his brother and brothers argue, something along the lines of that. And I do remember way back when, when Jay did his Only Breakfast Club interview, when they asked him if you would ever do a collab album again, he did say, at this point in my life, I'd probably only do one with Kanye West again because the chemistry is already there. We already did the Watch Your one. Now, since then, we did see Jay-Z do a collab album with Wifey. As a matter of fact, uh, he did an entire body of work with Wifey in 2018. And he's pretty much only collabing with her on records, if unless Khaled's involved. But I do believe that Beyonce's wifey and that doesn't count. And if he does decide to do another collab album with a rapper, it would have to be Kanye West. Now, last night on Twitter, with all this love being spread when Drake and Meek Mill are on stage in Boston, Massachusetts, ending their beef, 
we we ain't talking about this a lot again because so much was going on with Drake and Meek Mill and how big that beef was. But Kanye West did tweet out, Throne 2 is coming soon. Essentially teasing that Jay-Z and Kanye West will be making a Watch the Throne 2 in the near future musically. Now, I don't know if that would happen just because me, like a lot of fans believe, Jay and Ye are probably as far away on the same page as they ever been. I don't know if they could get together and put a whole body of work together. Would it be five with Ye's production still? He still got it to a degree with the production. And Jay wouldn't let it sound whack musically. He get some other people involved. But I don't know if they could get on the same page musically, just kind of where they're at politically and, and their stances on things. But I'll tell you guys this. Here's what that tweet means to me. That probably means Kanye West and Jay-Z are at least on talking terms. That probably is what that means. Now, do I believe we're going to get a Watch the Throne 2 album? No, I don't actually. But if he said, if Ye said Throne the 2 is coming soon, that in my opinion means these two brothers have somehow, some way hashed out at least a degree of their differences to at least get on the phone with each other and, and talk something through. So that's a good sign for hip hop. Again, I ain't trying to see anybody beef, and I know people think all our platforms eat off beef, and to a degree that's true. But in the honest to God truth, in the real world, I don't like seeing anybody beef. And the fact that we got two more black brothers, older black brothers in Ye and Jay Z looking like they didn't got all at least on talking terms again, I think it's dope for the culture. And if a record or two does come from it, I'm fine with that. Let me just clarify this. I don't think a whole project could come from it. From it. Maybe a record or two. Maybe we get another Jay-Z and Ye record. Or maybe Ye's able to bring Jay-Z out on a, on a show and do My Big Brother is Big Brother. We maybe could get that moment again. But to do a whole project at this point in Jay's life, at this point in Ye's life, looks like Ye's down for it. I find it hard to believe that Jay would agree to it just because Jay's too smart of a business guy and he understands the backlash he would get by teaming up with somebody who has the stance of black people were slaveries for 400 years by choice and some of the other things that Ye has did like side behind Donald Trump the way he has so far. Thank y'all for the time, love and support and, and salute the hip hop, man. You know, it was a tough week uh, last week losing Mac Miller, but um, hip hop has been winning. We've gotten a, a few rap beefs and I don't think these are going to like with the g Easy, the MGK and Eminem. I don't think they're going to the street. They kept it straight in the music. I like that rap smoke with the bars. We got Drake and Meek ending their feuds. And now we got, looks like Jay and Ye. Either they ended their feud or they're close to doing it. So dope week for the culture overall, except for losing Mac Miller. Thank y'all for the time, love, support. Would y'all want a new Watch the Throne from Jay-Z and Kanye West? Kanye West teases that it is on the way. Please subscribe if you have not done so. That's the only way you get this content first. And if you are a subscriber, take it to the next level. Sign me up like a 30-minute TV show that you watch during the day. Heck, sign me up like y'all be watching Power. Hit the notification button, and then you'll know when I'm about to drop that fire on you. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids that you are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.